our science lab. We are Mad for Jesus scientists where we're doing cool science, right? And we're learning Bible truths. And I have my special assistants here. I have Lincoln and Lily. Say hi. Hello. There we go. All right. Are we ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up your glue and just take the whole lid right off, just like this. Take the whole lid oh, off. Lily. There you go, Lily. There you go, Lincoln. Take it off. This is hard to do it with gloves on. It is kind of hard with yeah. gloves on. You yeah. probably got the difficult one. put the whole thing in. Yes, just take it and pour it all in there, just like that. Put the small one, the small little beaker, pour that there into you your glue. And your little red spatula, take that and stir it around until it all gets mixed in. Oh, all right, so take it. this, and Dad, you might need to help him with the lid. Just five drops in there. One, two, three, four, five. So Actually, stir it up. Whoa. Um, I accidentally put six dots in there. Oh, it's going to be really green then. It's going to be really green. Oh, Mine this is, is ultra green. It Mine is, is ultra blue, guys. It is. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. And remember that big beaker we have here? And this little bit of powder? This is borax powder. And we're going to put a quarter teaspoon of borax into 150 ml of hot water. So go well, ahead I, and I pour this it. into the yes. big beaker. I popped it in. Okay, and then take that stir stick that we have here. The stir stick? Okay. And stir it up until it all dissolves. And that so means all gone. it's all gone. Yes. You don't really see anything like anymore. all the white stuff. Mm -hmm. And now, this is where it gets really tricky and Dad may need to help on this, is we're gonna pour right. this in and stir at the same time, okay? Pour this in and stir at the same time. Mm -hmm. That gets pretty hard to do. Stir, stir, and pour. Why is it really hard? Because it's slime. Yeah. Oh, because we are making slime. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got yeah. 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 that right. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> yeah. And once it starts coming together on your on your spatula and starts kind of riding up on your spatula and you don't really have much liquid in there anymore. Leave it in the bowl and just now kind of mush it up. It? Yes, in the bowl, just in the bowl. You can play with it in the bowl. So just keep on squishing it together in the bowl until you can bring it out like this. And look at this. We have slime. Look at how it goes. It goes however it wants to go. Look at that. I can't control it, can I? It goes however Whoa. it wants to. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. Or if you pull too, too hard, it'll break off. So kids, you know what slime reminds me of? Slime reminds me of sin. Well, do you think do you think lying might be a sin? A is sin lying is wrong? Yeah, all sin. the lying. wrong things we do. Sin is all the wrong things you do. Sin is when we don't follow God, when we do things our way instead of God's way. Because God's way, God's way is not to lie. God's way is to always be truthful. And do you know what the Bible tells us in Romans 3.23? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That is all of us. But you know what that means? We need a Savior, don't we? And can you imagine that God loves us all so much, he can't imagine heaven without you, without you, without me and everybody else? That he loves us so much that he sent Jesus for us to be our Savior? The Bible tells us in 1 John 1, 9, but if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. So when we accept Jesus Christ in our hearts to be our Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. then we become saved. That means we're no longer like the slime anymore. We follow Jesus and we do things God's way. Because, you know, God's way is always the best way, right? Yeah. Yeah. It says in Jeremiah 29, 11, But I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Can you imagine that God loves you so much? He has a plan for you, Lincoln. He has a plan for you, Lily. He has a plan for your dad. He has a plan for me. He has a plan for everybody. Kids, we know what? God is good. God yes. loves us. And we can trust God, right? Mm -hmm. And what plan should we follow? Should we be like the slime and follow our own plan? Or yes. should we not be like the slime and follow God's plan? Not be the slime and follow God's plan. Excellent, yep. Lincoln. Excellent, Lily. So that's right. Let's all follow Jesus and do things God's way. So have a great week, kids. May peace be with you. Please be with you. Bye-bye.